If you wanted to make it into a can, you could do it. Just press here. Hey folks, my name's Mark, and today we're gonna test this Trayvax knife against this butter knife. We're gonna go to the store, we're gonna get a bunch of stuff, and who knows what we're gonna chop up, but we're gonna find some good stuff. Come on with us. So the Trayvax knife is pretty sharp, and I think we're gonna have some good luck with this thing. The, uh, the butter knife, we know that that's not sharp, but it'll be good to see the contrast. So I think we'll probably be able to make it through like a can, no problem, with the Trayvax knife. What else can you find at the grocery store that's hard to cut open? I have no idea. We'll find something. See cheese. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to cut through this. This for sure. We know it'll cut through this. That'll. We'll start out with the uh, easy stuff first, and then go up to the easy cheese. Squeezy. Easy cheese. <laughs> okay, so we're here at the store and we're looking to cut open some stuff with a Trayvax knife. What do you think we should cut open? We're I testing can't. it. Trayvax, Trayvax knife versus butter yeah. knife. On TV during those ads, they normally try and cut a tomato. A tomato? Slice. Yeah, you get a tomato and you slice it with a knife. Okay, perfect. We have a uh, coconut. You have a coconut? Yeah, we'll try that too. <laughs> really what about thing. like a can of Campbell's Chunky Soup? Hey, yeah. First up, we're gonna cut the tomato. According to my dad, this is the one that makes the, as seen on TV ads, look really good. So, we're gonna start out with the butter knife. Ooh, not that bad. You gotta get a little bit of a, kind of a sawing motion and it makes it through. Ooh, not good. Now this scene's supposed to be in black and white, which will happen right now. Next up we've got the Trayvax knife. Oh baby. So I'd say that the butter knife did not do all that well with the tomato. It's still cut, but you've got a much nicer slice with the Trayvax knife. And for the apple, I think that both of them are going to cut, but that the Trayvax knife is going to be a much cleaner one. Let's do it. Ooh, you know, I'm definitely pressing on this. And this is a little serrated, so the butter knife has an advantage. Okay, let's try just like pushing. Well, I guess that works. I'd say that's just fine. The butter knife has got this one handled. Let's try the Trayvax knife now. Oh yeah, it's definitely easier, especially with just pushing. That's pretty fast. I haven't had any lunch. The butter knife did just fine. You can cut an apple with a butter knife. But will it go against a melon? It's 
pretty tough. It's possible, but it's not nice. Yeah, you can cut a melon with a butter knife. But it does take a little bit of strain. Let's see if we can get a thin slice. Next step, tray back knife. Let's see how thin of a slice we can get. I'd say that's pretty good. That's way easier than the butter knife. We got these three options. And I'm gonna say, I think easy squeeze would probably be the least hard. So we'll go for that. I don't think so. We gotta open this sucker up with the Trayvax knife. <laughs> Oh no, we didn't get the thing to pop. Folks, I stabbed the wrong part of the bottle. It was supposed to explode. If you ever stab a can of Easy Squeeze cheese, don't stab the bottom of it. That's where the air reservoir is. If you want maximum experience, stab the halfway point of the can. Next up, we're gonna do a I'm assuming that chunky soup is going to be harder, or less hard than the coconut. We'll do this one first. It's serrated, so if I just keep going at it, it'll probably go through. This one is not serrated. But it does have the advantage of having a point. so. If you wanted to make it into a can, you could do it. Just press here and then open it up like this. It did pretty well. It did better than they uh, butter knife but uh, I guess yeah if you wanted to open up a can you would probably want to do it vertical or while it's while it's upright so we could test that or you could go in from the top but this seems to be doing just fine so next up we're gonna do the coconut. And for the coconut, I think that, I mean like we could probably, if we had a day, we could probably saw through it with this butter knife. That's not the point of the video. I'm gonna try and go after this thing and we will see how far we can get with a, a few seconds of work. No way. That is not the tool <laughs> for opening up a coconut. In fact, I don't know if the Trayvax knife will go through it. I mean, like, if we were, like, sitting there sawing at it for a long time, I don't think that the Trayvax knife will actually go through this coconut. Don't hit this thing with a hammer. Uh, don't do that. But we are gonna hit it with a piece of wood, which is perfectly fine. We're gonna start out with the butter knife versus the coconut.
We're gonna go up to the Trayvax knife. All right, let's, let's try it this way. I think we got a bad coconut. This smells like a baby's diaper. The Trayvax knife made it through just fine. Uh, let's do the same, let's do the same try and baton it with this. Trayvax neck wing. We're about to sacrifice this torta masa with the Trayvax knife. And, uh, you know, it's like, it'll be uh, a good show. Say that it did pretty well. Uh, easy for the Trayvax knife, and if you get one, then you can cut your own bag of torta masa open yourself. I hope that you all enjoyed that video. I hope that you all have a great Christmas with your families, and stay safe this holiday season. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.